Good Tuesday morning to you. I hope that you had a wonderful Monday yesterday. I forgot to mention yesterday that Monday is, uh, I find, I like to use it as a transition day. You've had a couple of days off and especially if you're ADHD, you need a little bit of time to ease into the week, if you will, and just kind of make that transition. And now you've got more energy, you're gonna just tackle the day, and let's do it, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes, who am I? I am Kitty Anders with DeclutterTheBrain.com, empowering overwhelmed procrastinators to reclaim their space and find peace of mind through personalized decluttering, um, decluttering solutions. Not services, I don't do it for you, you do it, but I give you, mm, we work together to find solutions so that you can um, have a wonderful space. All right, uh, this week we are speaking wonderful space. We are talking about decluttering your bathroom. <laughs> yes, oh, the bathrooms I have seen. Even the bathrooms that I have lived in, frankly, so I know whereof I speak. Uh, all of these videos, and I thank you for watching, all of them really uh, are, are, they come from experience. They come from my experience, experience of experiences of my clients. And that is why we want to share this with you so you don't go through the pain that we're, that we have gone through. I, yesterday, I suggested giving the bathroom a quick cat scan. Two, three, four. Uh, <laughs> scan the bathroom, get, I, and I mean go through all of the drawers and into the shower and everything uh, for empty shampoo bottles, empty toiletry bottles, uh, maybe some makeup that... Uh, you, it's empty. The eyeshadow is empty. Throw it out. I know. I'm guilty as well. Well, maybe it'll magically refill itself. I don't know. Maybe there's another drop of shampoo in the bottom of that. Throw it out. By the way, if there's a uh, conditioner that you hate the smell of, uh, throw it out. I know. <laughs> but it was expensive. Yeah, I am going through the same dilemma, by the way. Throw Okay, then you want to clear everything off the counter. Yes, I mean everything and replace only the essential items. Now, if you have to have family photos, <laughs> okay, fair enough. What, no matter what you do, just replace only the essentials that you use every day. Tuck everything else away in drawers. Uh, and no, out of sight, out of mind. You'll remember where your your eyeshadow is. Michael, if you're using eyeshadow, we need to talk. I know I said that yesterday. Okay, today we talk about how old are those meds? Anyway, um, yeah. Go through the medicine chest or whatever box you, ha you have in your meds and really have a look at them. Now, they're generally, as I understand it, good for a year or so after, you know, like your ibuprofen. Um, uh, generally, things are good for maybe a year after that, but they really do start to lose their e e potency and efficacy, eff efficiency, pick a word. Uh, so go through all of those and, and pitch them. And this you could be saving your own life here by doing that, by the way. And after you've done that, wipe the mirror get some get a couple of micro microfibers and do a wet rag and then a dry rag if you have a squeegee that's even better i had a cleaning business for 18 years i know about squeegee for sure and oh it just reflects the light everywhere and just makes everything look absolutely wonderful it really does give you a lift and that's the point of decluttering the bathroom is to give you that lift first thing in the morning when you need it the most oh yeah <laughs> okay until tomorrow when uh, our topic is drawer decisions scroll down below download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter while you're there let's you just click that little button Book a quick and no-cost call with me, and we will talk about how we can work together to give you personalized decluttering solutions so that you can reclaim your space and find peace of mind in your home. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.